had a lie in. I really needed it. And I might do whatever I want to do, but just like stay in bed because I was really worried yesterday that I was starting to get fatigued and I I felt a bit fatigued and I don't want to feel that. And I also want to be well, as we know, because I keep saying it every day for Wednesday night. And today is Saturday, so as long as I take it easy, hopefully it'll be fine. I hope you're all having a good Saturday. I hope that, uh, yeah, that you have a fun Saturday. And um, if you have family that you don't, like a husband or partner or wife or whoever um, who maybe works all week, and you get a chance to spend time with them. Maybe they can look after you a bit this weekend, pamper you a bit, hopefully. Um, yeah, I hope you have a nice time and uh, speak to you soon. it but look at all this jewelry but this is so funny it's a hot cross bun with gelato in it would you eat that a hot cross bun sandwich Ooh, i don't know i don't think i would like that Ugh, no <laughs> and then it's talking about different exhibitions um i think they're all london yeah they must be that's pretty all these different things. And oh yeah, I've seen those kind of plate things before. Oh, that's pretty. If you like flowers, these are really nice. Ooh, I would love some new sneakers. I love this because this could just make me imagine all the things I could buy. I, mean, I can't buy any of this, but I can pretend. Or one day, one day. I'll make money again one day. Don't know how. Um, yeah, this is also pretty. That beautiful space. That's lovely. Oh, that's so pretty. Who loves like redoing their homes? Even if it's just moving furniture around or painting one. I remember years ago, like in my 20s, I had cardboard boxes and I painted them this eggshell blue because I had to put things in them and uh, I didn't like them to look like, you know, cardboard. They just elevated that, ro that, that room so much. Oh, this is all so nice. Oh. Who likes wallpaper? Who uses wallpaper? I've always wanted to, uh, especially like these kind of chinois with birds and flowers kind of patterns, but this reminds me of the Shard. Has anybody been to the Shard or somewhere similar? When I went to the Shard, like the toilets were so cool. Like you could have, you had this beautiful view and it was at nighttime with all these lights. I mean, I took a picture of me on the toilet. Because <laughs> it was so cool. I mean, nobody, I didn't show it to anyone, but. And there's that cake. My daughter baked me something similar for my birthday. Was it this year or the year before? It was so good. Oh, that cake. Oh my God. I want a big slice of that cake right now.
de nada más. On days where I'm not feeling that bad, but I know I need to rest, my body is screaming for rest. Um, so I make sure that I try to stay in and I make sure that I don't do much. And I'm living in a little studio flat, so I can't really move around much anyway. But then I feel like I'm sitting here. I'm not bad enough, unwell enough to be lying in bed having a flare, um, like bad fatigue, having, you know, all that. So I can do things, but I have to be careful with my energy. And at times like that, like, so what I did today was stayed in bed for a while, then felt that wasn't really helping me. So I got up, um, I had to cook a little bit. I watched a few YouTube videos that make me feel really cozy. Oh, um, what's her name? I'll, I'll tag, I'll put her in the description. She, she does a lot and um but one day she'd had a flare and so she i was watching that one because it just felt comforting because i wanted to be kind of in a cozy feel and that made me feel good it's funny isn't it it's not about seeing somebody else suffer that makes you feel good it's about knowing that you're not alone and also you can share some of those feelings it just there's something very comforting about that so anyway did that and now I'm waiting for something I've put in the oven and I thought you know what it was always in the back of my mind I haven't practiced my piano my keyboards for about a month and I had made this promise to myself to practice well it was I think it's in my calendar for every night but or every other night or something but I hadn't and I'm really happy that I have but I was rusty so I had to go through it that I have um pretty much know one one section but what I need to do is now get my left chords to go with the right hand so that then it actually sounds like a song that when I I'm trying to do things like this so that I don't feel that my life is just passing me by when I'm just sitting at home not being able to do anything and I got tired now doing that but I feel good because I've done something that feels productive and there's nothing wrong with not doing anything when you can't because the most productive thing you can do is stay in bed and rest and rest and rest and rest and rest and, rest and you know, there's absolutely, like, that's what you need to be doing. But in days where you have a bit of energy, I watched a bit of YouTube, I was scrolling in bed on Instagram and I, I find that when I have a bit of energy that I that is not good for me. I don't know, keyboards is not too bad. I mean, I could even put, take that to bed, which but let me know if you have any hobbies that you find doesn't take away too much of your energy. I'd love to know. Um, yeah, and, and it might be useful for other people. So please do put it in the comments if you have any um, hobbies, if how much energy you feel they take out of you or do they give you energy? Um, and so how much time do you spend on them to make sure that it doesn't affect your energy? And for some people, there I go through phases, um, touch wood, I haven't had much of it for a while, but for some people, um, it, it could be pain. So how much can your pain tolerate? Um, oh, gosh, we really do have a lot to deal with, don't we? Okay, um, it is Monday, Monday afternoon, as you may possibly guess, um, I'm not doing too good, I'm not feeling too well, I was just thinking, like, what's, what are the odds, oh gosh, one second, I'm going to sneeze again, um, I was saying that, what are the odds, like, I've been fine for months even when I would get tired it wasn't a crash it wasn't fatigue what are they, what thoughts law the week when I need to be feeling my best yeah I'm lying here I, I tried to wash half the dishes and then I got felt so sick um, 
when I say sick, you know, like flare, sick, as in nauseous, fatigue, everything. <sighs> and then, um, yeah, so I laid here for a bit, feel a bit better. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the event is the day after tomorrow. And it's not like last time where I was, it wasn't great. I had one bad day and then that was it. Like, this is like, I'm just terrible every day and I'm not getting any better. Um, so I just feel like if I just rest, 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 I had to cancel some, some things, like my little little tiny job on the side. And I needed that, I needed that. Um, I have to cancel all this stuff. I'm lying here hoping that if I keep resting, I'll be able to make it to the gallery and just like, not sure if I could make it long enough. Good thing the drinks, thing, it's only for two hours. <sighs> which is a lot still <laughs> but it's better than you know all night um and I really I'm, I'm contemplating do I tell my friends hey we may not have the drinks or dinner after because I don't know if I can do it but you know what like I feel like I'm letting myself I think I'll be so upset if I can't make the dinner I think I'll be so upset I'll be like sir there's no good way of dealing with it um the, the only thing is I just pray that I'll get better by that day, day after tomorrow. The other thing is, it's not like I can completely rest. It sounds like it, but I have to color my hair because my hair has got all whites everywhere. That's tiring, washing it. Um, I had asked my daughter to bring my mom's hair blow dryer because I don't even use a hair dryer because blow drying is going to be really tiring. The magnesium uh, are, is coming. It's going to be here any any minute, and that usually helps me. It's a really guys. If you should try it, I'll put a maybe in my. I'll put a link below anyway. Oh, my nose is running again. Um, one second. But I'll let you know. I think it's a miracle worker. Every time I take that magnesium bath. My fatigue goes away for that day and then it comes back the next day I have to have the bath again and I wonder see I was taking the bath and I was taking uh, the B1 and but I wasn't taking magnesium tablets because they don't really they haven't suited me so far um, but I wonder if my fatigue crash is because I haven't had the bath for interesting because it was that I would have to take it every day. and But then after a while, I think it kind of like went into my system. So I didn't have to take it every day. So I could take it like once a week or, yeah, once a week. And I was doing well. And I haven't had the bath for a couple of weeks, maybe two to three weeks. And maybe it's that. Well, no. This is such a good test. I can't wait. I have to say that I will probably edit out. There have been a lot of, I think it was last night and the night before when I felt bad. Um, the first night that I felt bad, I came on and I was looked so pale, like worse than now, and like really horrific. And I cried that night. I was just like, I can't believe this. It's just so horrible. Not, not that I looked pale, but how I felt. And um, so um, I got the parcel. So funny. I was just thinking, I was so excited when um, I went downstairs, when I found that it was downstairs. And it felt like, when I came back up, I was thinking, it feels, what does it feel like? What does it feel like? And I realized it feels like Christmas Day <laughs> to receive this. So it better not let me down. And I just thought I'd also let you know that just to remind people who I don't know if you use Amazon and I think they have these on certain sites as well where um, if you order something that is something that you use regularly you could have like a subscription with the company and that way you get a little it's not really that much off so it's not for that purpose I mean it's probably maybe 30p off or something but the main reason for it um, for me is that so I never run out. Um, I do that with the thiamine, but I never thought about doing it with the magnesium, which I think is more important for me. 
so I put it on a roll. Um, anyway, the time is 4.30. I'm going to take this and then I'll get back to you probably in the evening. I don't know. I'll just let you know how I feel, if I feel any different. I'll know. I'll know if I feel different. Fingers crossed. Um, I think it's, it's, yeah, nearly six o'clock. Um, as soon as I got out of the bath, I felt better. And I thought, okay, it's a fluke. Maybe I feel lighter because I had a bath. Which, if it was any other bath without the magnesium bath salts, I would have felt worse. Um, you know, a hot bath is not going to make me feel better. I'm not going to get on here and start saying, wow, it really does work that quickly for me. But guess what? I feel much, 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 much better. So it's really interesting. So what I'll do is I'll take a bath a magnesium bath tomorrow as well and I will take one the morning of Wednesday just, you know I'm gonna like take it easy until the flare is a hundred percent gone but what I need to do is talk to my doctors about this whole magnesium thing because now I really see it as a pattern um, it's much more obvious than anything else I've tried so I'm really curious about it. So I might contact the company. Sorry, I'm just seeing, oh my goodness, even more lilacs, wow, of different color. Oh, they're so beautiful, wow. Oh, flowers just make me so happy. Oh my goodness. If ever anybody wants to buy me presents, I would always say, I wouldn't say, but like say somebody said, I was thinking to myself, like if somebody wanted to bring me a bottle of champagne, for like if they're coming to my house or well if they come to my house if they want to bring a bottle of wine or if they're coming to my exhibition if they want to get a bottle of champagne or something if I would know that they were going to get me something I would say please don't get me the champagne just buy, buy me even if it's a five pound um, bunch of flowers from Tesco's I would be so happy I just love flowers so okay I cannot I okay could show it you. doesn't really show how come it doesn't show properly it's like a really light oh, lilac. Oh. Whereas maybe it's because it's oh, it's so pretty. It's like it's purpley. I don't think the video picks up the color really. Whereas these ones are much more purple. Those are lighter. Oh, it's so beautiful. So <sighs> yeah, as I was saying, um, I'm going to talk to my doctor. I'm going to talk when I see the hospital people in June, I'll tell them, I'll tell my GP as well, and maybe I'll contact the company that make this magnesium, these magnesium salts, because they're really good for me. They really help with my fatigue, it's crazy. But you know, thank God, I don't know what it is. I really wanna to get to the bottom of it, and I wanna know if I could try it in different forms that it ha I don't have to like get into a bath each time. Um, maybe an oil, I guess it's because it's absorbing, it absorbs better into the body, whereas maybe sometimes with medication, maybe we don't take it, take things, in, especially magnesium, that well. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But anyway, just wanted to report back that it has helped me. So yeah, so let's see how, yeah, I feel more, much more confident now. And it's like, I'm not being... You know, I could have said, well, it's helped me now. I don't know how I'm going to be tomorrow and all that. But because it's helped me in the past, I remember distinctly when I first started using it, how I was every day that I took it. Um, so I just hope, I just think it's going to follow that pattern. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to say a couple of things. So today is the day. I am okay. And... I am definitely okay, but I'm just a bit worried because I've been doing things and I'm just like, what is, you know, but I had to do things. So anyway, okay, my rollers are falling off. <laughs> I had two things to say. One is, I don't have a, I was going to borrow my mother's hair dryer, you know, the kind that has the brush already attached. Because even before chronic illness, I was never good at coordinating my hand with one brush and um, the hair dryer in the other. I don't know. I just wasn't good at it. I don't know if it's because I'm left-handed or what. I don't know. It's just me. Um, so I found those that kind of hair dryer really, really good. And I used to have one. 
Uh, and I think I gave it to my daughter years ago. And I don't, I hardly heat, use heat on my hair because of how damaged it's been, especially when I went blonde two years ago. I wanted to like, just give it some a break uh, from heat and stuff. Anyway, um, so one tip would be not like this because it's a mess now. Um, and also I don't have pins to keep them together. But one um, really good tip I think is if you don't have the energy to be blow drying your hair, it's basically it's just a lot of holding your arm up, isn't it? So putting rollers in makes, I did it last night and I was going to sleep in them, but I could tell that I would get a headache, so I took them off. And already, they had such a nice bounce to them, and yeah, so I think it's such an easy way without having to exert oneself. And then the other thing I was going to say is interesting is usually when I'm before chronic illness, when I would get ready, I would put on music to get me into the mood. Um, I remember one song I'd always put on was Jennifer Lopez's uh, If I If You Had My Love. And I used to love that song and it would get all cool and like, well, not cool, but it would just get into these beats and everything. And it just really got me into the mood. And I thought, oh, I want to get into mood. And it's so funny because I want to do the opposite of what I would have done before chronic illness. Now, I just want quiet because I know for at least two hours there's going to be noise and there's going to be people wanting to talk with me because apparently there are people there who want to talk to the artists and stuff. Oh my God, I'm dreading that. Um, only because I don't know what to say. What is there to say? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, it's interesting. So I was watching some YouTube this morning and I thought, no, no, don't exert myself because even watching can and exert energy can um yeah make me tired anyway i'm gonna go and take another magnesium bath they're amazing so i'm gonna take one early um i have so much time i woke up a lot earlier than i had planned i really wanted to lie in so it's only it's only 11 I've got about five hours till I head to the place. So I'm going to try. It's so hard when you wake up early and you have some energy to do nothing. Already I wash some dishes. Oh, so, so difficult not to do anything. Wish me luck for not trying not to do anything. Maybe the magnesium bath. What it does is it does really relax you at the beginning. It makes you all sleepy. Maybe it'll make me have a nap. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't think anything's going to make me sleepy today. Okay. Bye for now. Hi everyone, I am wearing a towel, but excuse me for wearing a towel. I just thought if I don't make this video now, I'm just not going to do it. Woo! And I see people that don't seem to mind wearing towels on YouTube, but usually they're doing like a get ready with me or something. But I'm really, really sorry. Apologies. The night was amazing. It was so successful. And there was such a good turnout. It was really, really lovely. I hadn't even invited many people at all because I didn't really think it was such a big deal at the beginning. And then I invited a few more people, a few thoughts. Okay, so first I'll tell you about the night uh, very quickly. It was lovely. Uh, like somebody that I actually didn't expect to come just suddenly showed up. Um, I saw my best friend, one of my best friends, who I hadn't seen for years and years. It was just wonderful. And it was so, say, okay, so from six to eight, and I had to stand all that time. I did get tired at times, but not fatigued, but I got a little bit like, gosh, I wish I could sit down uh, because there were no chairs. I'm sure if I'd asked, but you know, I didn't need to desperately, so I didn't. First of all, what was really interesting was there was one more photographer, was it just one? Yeah, one more photographer, and she, I knew her from Instagram. I followed her as soon as I saw her in the gallery Instagram. 
so I knew what she looked like. And as I was getting off the bus, I, bus, I saw her, and you couldn't miss her because she was wearing red from top to toe. She was, looked really cute. And uh, she was like rushing to obviously go to the gallery. And I kind of just like little run, not proper run, like walked fast um, to catch up with her. And I said, hey, you know, I follow you on Instagram. Are you going to the gallery? Because I forgot her name. And she was just so happy. And she said that people don't normally just approach people on the street. I could have just, just met her at the gallery. And we really hit it off. And, um, and then she said, because the day before, we, we were supposed... I wanted to go and see what it was going to be like and I, uh, apparently her husband had gone sorry this is tiring my arm oh well I'm just trying to put my other hand under my elbow <laughs> um, so her, her this is I've got to point to the story so her husband went the day before and filmed it for her to see what it was all the layout was and also because he was traveling so he wanted to see what it was going to be like so that's what she said and I said yeah I didn't go because I haven't been feeling very well so I just wanted to make sure I was okay for the night and she said yes yes there's a lot going around isn't there and I said well actually I, I suffer with chronic fatigue I never really go on about Sjogren's or fibromyalgia sometimes fibromyalgia or anything because I think like people are not going to understand sometimes I say an autoimmune disease but because fatigue is my main main uh, issue I try to I think I say chronic fatigue quite a lot so um yeah why am i not putting this on a stand where is my stand okay hold on a second okay <clears throat> excuse the mess uh yeah so what i and she said that and i said no actually I, I suffer with chronic fatigue and she said oh wow so do i and only when she said that she did um did i i could see it it was really interesting and I don't think she would have ever said that if I hadn't said it. And I feel like how many people out there are suffering silently? So anyway, um, and we ended up, it was a very short walk to the gallery and she said, hold my hand. And we ended up holding hands and going in. It was like lovely. Um, I had a one glass, I didn't even finish it of Prosecco because I really don't drink since I've been feeling unwell. Since even before that I did it because I had, first I had fibromyalgia um before i i was i found out about Sjogren's, so i had really bad stomach pains and so i stopped drinking then so that was quite a few years ago um like i'll have a drink once in a while whereas before then i would have tequilas and uh whiskey and prosecco and champagne and cava and lovely ah lovely wines mm, like these like peachy sauvignon blanc or Oh God! Anyway, I love the taste of alcohol, which some people don't like the taste of alcohol. So I don't like this here. I don't know why it's bugging me. But like everything else is bad too. Anyway, it was a great night and people asked me about my photography and I felt really like, I felt like I can say now that I'm a photographer from the way I was perceived and and when I wasn't near my work, like if I saw people going and I could hear like, what are they saying about my work? It was really interesting and I am very, very grateful. And I got a card from my mother and my daughter and they both wrote in it and they were both saying how proud they were of me. And it made me feel really good that I had something for them to be proud of. And um, it's a funny thing to say for a 51 year old and it was just like I had only had three photos in the back of a gallery, in a gallery exhibition. but. It's just been really hard to achieve anything and it felt like an achievement. And I was really worried about a dinner after, but actually a group of my friends decided they wanted to go for sushi like early on and I couldn't leave the exhibition, the event. So I just told them to go and then my other friend was going to leave early. So basically it worked out that nobody really even suggested too much. One did, but one group did. But um, so then my daughter and I just got the bus back. It was very local and we went, we were freezing and hungry. So we went straight into a Pizza Express and got a takeaway. And then we went to the supermarket and she got some Pop-Tarts, came back to mine, sat on the bed, ate pizza and had Pop-Tarts and it was wonderful. And I had a normal pizza dough where I never have gluten. But when I did that health intolerance test and found out that I was intolerant to ri white rice and maize and corn, I realized that when I was having gluten-free products, 
they were really bad for me because if you're intolerant to something also that will cause inflammation so I still don't have gluten or gluten-free products like that unless they just use brown rice at base and with tests and everything I am not gluten intolerant in a test but I don't want gluten because it's inflammatory and the whole point of Sjogren's is to keep the inflammation down 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 somebody was asking me if for you know as Sjogren's sufferers um, are we all going to get lymphoma and I was like no I've read that that's not like a common thing but you have to watch out for it you, know, you have to be careful you have to be careful with your lifestyle and so I actually googled and I saw that they said I'll put it in another video because now I don't remember what the word was in your body that but basically it's an inflammation so if you have constant high inflammation in Sjogren's it could lead to uh, lymphoma which makes sense because you know when you do your markers if you have cancer you have like really high inflammation markers and all that so I try to keep my inflammation low but it was one night really enjoyed a pizza I have not had a, a non gluten free pizza for I don't know has it been years I think the other pizzas have always been gluten free yes yeah, for a couple of years and I had a vegan cheese because I am intolerant to dairy so I was pretty good, but the Pop-Tarts had soya in them, which I'm intolerant to, and I didn't even look at the packet. I bet it has dairy. I was just like, so I went for it. Right now, I sound very energetic, and I went to sleep at three in the morning because I was too excited, and my daughter left at midnight, and then um, woke up okay, and then suddenly I felt fatigue in my arms, and that's why I'm like this, because I went and had a magnesium bath. Maybe that's worked that quickly. I don't know. It's crazy that magnesium bath. Um, I should really be like some kind of uh, advertisement for this magnesium bath. <laughs> I need to always like bring the packet with me. I should contact them actually and see. I don't know. I don't think they'd um, sponsor videos because I don't have many subscribers. But I don't know. Maybe they'll g give us all some discounts or something. I don't know. <sighs> So I was supposed to take a friend to the gallery today that he wanted to look around and I hadn't got to the fatigue yet in the morning but I knew that I better be careful so I messaged him saying if you want to come to my area uh, for a coffee and he was like yeah sure so I'm glad I did that I'm, I'm glad I said no to the gallery and coffee here that's just about what I can do I'm getting out of breath I need to rest I did get a bit tearful just when I did feel fatigued in my arms that why is it such hard work? I had such an enjoyable evening and then I have to suffer today. We all know it's worth it when we do have a good time, but it'd be nice not to have to suffer the next day either. I'm feeling a lot of love, so I'm sending you all a lot of love. Wishing you all a wonderful day. Wishing you all just good things just good good things I won't have these long vlogs for a while so that you guys um, don't get bored <laughs> sending you all lots of love and see you soon bye